It is all the news all the time and my name is Adam and it's uh, lovely to have you back and if you are new here don't forget to uh, like and subscribe so you don't miss a video and we've got an interesting story coming out from the uh, BBC talking about a British kayaker uh, that's he's in a kayak and he's rescued clinging to a boy in the English Channel uh, what's going on here so we've got a British man has been rescued by a Dutch fishing boat in the channel after his kayak capsized and he was left holding on to the boy for days. Now, some people say 12 days, some people say 48 hours. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, the captain, uh, Tunis de Boer, uh, said he had by chance seen the kayaker waving frantically as his boat, Madeline, sailed past. He was clearly in distress, the captain told the Dutch media. Uh, after the man was given water and a chocolate bar, he was airlifted to hospital by the French authorities. Yeah, this is all sensible and makes sense to me, although uh, where's the kayak and how did he lose the kayak? And uh, that's what I want to know. The drama unfolded late on Thursday morning, several miles west off the French coast in a shipping lane off the Dover Strait, also known as the Pas de Calais. Uh, the boat captain said he was checking they were not steering too close to the Colbert Nord buoy. I checked on the navigational charts and the Colbert N lighted buoy is marked at position 50 degrees 7 minutes north, 1 degree 24 minutes east. If we look at that position on the Google map we find it's here and it's just off the coast of France in a place called Pas de Calais and it's very very close off the beach in Plage de Bois de Cise so it's here a um, a cardinal boy a north cardinal boy and I was thinking well you haven't kayaked from Britain to there that distance is something like 30 miles from there to there it's 21 at its uh, narrowest point from here to here so from there to there it's about 30 so I can only assume the person has gone from the beach here and lost his kayak here. Um, I did some further research about this and then there's a news article from Britain's news channel. UK authorities call off search for a person seen clinging to the Colbert light boy in the channel. And this came out Thursday 27th of October. So this was yesterday. Uh, the search for a person seen clinging to the Colbert light boy in the channel has now been called off. Searchers found some personal belongings on the boy, leading to fears the person may have been swept into the water, but searches failed to find any trace of a person and maritime authorities have now been stood down. At least seven boats, these are rigid inflatable boats, were intercepted and more than 250 people have been taken to Dover Harbour for processing. Uh, sources have told GB News that one of the boats was intercepted in the southern North Sea, indicating it may have set off from a beach in Belgium. So... From what I can understand, this seems to be a rigid inflatable boat filled with um, people wishing to travel to the UK. I don't believe, this is my personal opinion, I don't believe that this is a um, British person in a kayak, as reported by this uh, news article. As you can see here in the, uh, in the BBC News, they're claiming it's a British uh, kayaker and the story uh, becomes quite strange down here, uh, as we can see. Uh, the boat captain was uh, checking he th that the boat was not steering too close to the Colbert Nord boy when he suddenly saw something moving around on it. I picked up my binoculars. I saw a young man just in his swimming trunks waving at us like a madman, he told uh, the Telegraph website. This is uh, the Dutch version of the same story. And uh, can we do a little translate of that? The crew of the cutter BL936072 Madeline of shipping company De Boer and Zonen rescued an English kayaker from a light boy around 11 o'clock in the English Channel. It was discovered by chance when the cutter went fishing near the Colbert Bank. So they threw the, the life boy to the, uh, the Britain and hauled him on board. He was covered in bruises and explained he'd been staying alive by scraping mussels off the boy and eating little crabs and seaweed. Right, I'm um, not sure that's going to help. Uh, Mr. De Boer told public broadcaster NOS he was dehydrated, suffering from hypothermia. The crew wrapped him in blankets. A French Coast Guard helicopter was quickly on the scene and flew the Britain to hospital in Boulogne. What is less clear is how long he had survived clinging to the boy. 
the fishing boat captain said the man had told them he had left Dover in his kayak on the 15th of October, 12 days before he was picked up. So he's been on this boy for 12 days, eating mussels and crabs and seaweed. He'd have died. He would have died, unless he had loads of water, and clearly he didn't. He would have died. Um, in a statement, the French maritime prefect for the channel and North Sea said, uh, however, he had left Dover around 48 hours earlier. I would argue he hadn't left Dover at all. I would argue that he'd left France um, as part of uh, a small boat uh, going to England. Uh, the prefecture warned anyone planning to cross the channel of the risks involved in such an undertaking, exactly so, pointing out the conditions were often very dangerous and more than 400 merchant ships pass through it every day. Uh, yes, indeed. I mean, it's not wise to uh, try and cross the channel in a kayak <laughs> uh, if, if that's what happened. Which I... And then he's helicoptered to uh, hospital. I don't believe that this person has spent 12 days on a buoy in the middle of the sea. Hmm. So let me know your thoughts and uh, make sure, um, yeah, if you can like and subscribe, that would really help. And uh, yeah, subscribe so you don't miss another video. And uh, yeah, and I will see you guys later.